Mayor Brandon Scott plans to meet with some of the Port of Baltimore workers in person today to determine what extra resources they need. And this afternoon, Governor Wes Moore is expected to hold a press conference on efforts at the bridge. And right now, opening the channel to allow port traffic through the Patapsco River is a top priority, so they're creating an alternate channel. Alexis Davila joins us live in Dundalk at the bridge collapse site to tell us what we can expect to see today. Alexis. Yes, well, we are working to learn more about those operations today, especially with this rainstorm that's happening. But we do know that crews were able to hunker down the cargo ship. That way it can prevent any further damage in that area. And also that with this storm, it wouldn't be moving it in any direction either. But the big news also is about finally opening up some passageway to get to that area, the Port of Baltimore, because we know how important that is to our economy. We call it an economic hub. Some good news is, is now there's finally some routes that will be coming up. About. We know that there will be two temporary channels opening today along the northeast and another one running along the south. Now, the north side can accommodate boats requiring 10 feet of water or less to operate. The south side will accommodate boats requiring 14 feet or less of draft. Now, there's some pre existing debris along the south side of the channel that crews do need to remove, but these channels will be for commercial vessels only and ones that are deemed as essential. A third channel is in the works once more debris is declared for more commercial vehicles to enter. We're looking at how we're going to offload some of the stuff that is in the port and maybe use our partners uh, at Trade Point Atlantic to help with some of that. Now, we also know more equipment is coming in today. We are expecting a fourth crane to come in to help remove some of that wreckage because the U.S. Navy says there's up to 4,000 tons of bridge debris in the water. Reporting live, I'm Alexis Avila for WJZ. Thank you, Alexis. And stay with WJZ as we bring you the latest developments in the long road to recovery from the collapse of our historic bridge.